Okay, everyone. I've never used milk paint. I know it's been used by many, but um, I couldn't actually find white, but I found a very pale blue. So that is what I'm using. And I will link, um, I think it's Radacrylic's um, pouring mix and his um, milk paint um, recipe because that's what I'm trying. And um, all the paints I've used are Master Touch. I will list them in the description with their names. And I'm getting ready to start. I've already layered my cup for a couple reasons. One, my videos get way too long and it's just, it's crazy. Anyways, I've layered my cup nice and pretty. And I might have more paint than I really want on here, but we'll all find out. So I'm pretty much just going to do a straight pour. That's traveling a little bit. Sorry for the chomping of the gum during this. I am actually trying to stop smoking and I'm using gum, so I apologize. And as you can tell, this is reused months ago, but nevertheless. Now I'm not making this any thinner than it is. Um, might be a mistake, but I don't think so. I think it'll be fine. And I have a big bottle of it here, and I'm going to spread it out a little bit and then probably inject some places. Let me move this. So. Let's see what we get. Even though I promised myself I would not use my typical blues and get out of my comfort zone, um, apparently I lied because I couldn't help myself. You can see this. Okay. And I am going to inject into it. already making pretty little cells. Pretty excited here. Okay. Carefully. I know there's more paint than I need on here and I'm going to lose some of the prettiness.
this really is for me a big experiment at this point. can see something in there. Let me find my tweezers real quick. They probably won't be here. Let's see if this will pick it up. Hmm. Okay, maybe there really isn't anything in there. Let me go ahead and torch it. go off that edge bring it back slowly bring it down to this edge Green is pretty. Okay. This is also the first time I've ever used glue in my paint. And um, lots more additives than I have in the past, so this should be interesting. Okay, got all the ugly stuff out. I am going to add some more in the middle here of a darker color inject it with some white and move this around a little bit more. This feels so funky with it not being my normal pouring solution. But it almost feels like it has ripples in it. Very bizarre. To help it along the edge here. Or this blue. Maybe in the center. And I'm going to start swiping with my finger. See if we get anything. That's different. And we'll 
all said the sides look amazing. Okay. Look at all those little cells coming up. I really dig this. I'm just going to do a voiceover on this part. I, I really think that this mix was way too thick, um, though the results are very pretty. I have a feeling it's probably going to crack um, come morning, but we'll see. Okay, I'm going to clean up. Okay. I don't think it's changed a lot. I could be wrong. But I don't see it. But there are some some fun cells in there. Not as many as I kind of had hoped for. And um, yeah, I mean it's okay, just not what I'm looking for. Um, I'm gonna wait till it dries and maybe try to embellish it a little bit. Um, but it's a used canvas as it is, so I don't know how much more I can really do to it. But anyway, so there's that. I'm going to try a thinner mix next time, and we'll see what happens with that. Again, I'll list everything in the description as far as the colors that I used, type of paint, um, the links to the other videos, and hope you guys are all staying safe as comfortable as can be. Um, let me know how you're doing. Put it in your comments. Um, please like and subscribe. Um, it does help my channel and I am trying to grow it. Anyways, you guys all have a wonderful evening. Or I'm going to have a wonderful evening. Thanks. Bye.